let's program your charge controller's auxiliary port to energize during a certain circumstance. Make sure you have a 12 volt relay or 12 volt load connected to your auxiliary port. On the charge controller, press the left button to get to the menu screen. Press the left or right arrow key to bring the arrow over to auxiliary. Select Go. You have the options of vent fan, PV trigger, error output, nightlight, float, diversion relay, diversion solid state, low battery disconnect, and remote. We will go through all the screens so you can see how to program them, but you will only want to choose one function to operate the auxiliary port. Or you can fast forward to the timestamps listed on this screen for the auxiliary function you want. The first screen you will come to is vent fan. The vent fan helps remove hydrogen from your battery enclosure. When the vent fan voltage set point is exceeded, the vent fan will run for at least 15 seconds, even if the set point is exceeded for only a few seconds due to a surge. If the set point is exceeded for longer than 15 seconds, the fan will stay on until the voltage drops below the set point. This is an optional external fan and not to be confused with the charge controller's internal, thermally activated fan, which cools the unit. Press Mode. Select the minus key to bring the password down to 141. And press Enter. Press Mode to change the output from Off, to On, to Auto. Now select Set. Select Volt. This is the voltage set point when your vent fan will turn on and must get less than in order to turn off. Press the minus or plus keys to adjust this setting. Press back. Press exit. Press next to get to PV trigger. PV trigger activates an alarm or relay that disconnects the array when the PV input voltage exceeds the user determined voltage set point for a set time. Select mode to change the output from off, to on, to auto. Now select set. Select volt. Press the minus or plus key to adjust this voltage. Do not go above 145 volts DC. Press back. Select time. Press the minus or plus key to adjust how many seconds the input voltage should be above the voltage set point we just set. Press back. Press exit. Select next to go to error output. The error output default state is on, meaning 12 volts DC is present at the aux terminal. If the charge controller has not charged the batteries for 26 hours or more continuously, the inaudible error output goes into an off state. The error output is intended for remote locations to signal when the charge controller has not charged the battery for 26 hours or more. Press the set key. The error output screen displays the number of hours the charge controller has been in sleep mode. Select volt. The error low bat volts will trigger the aux port to send a signal or sound an alarm indicating the battery voltage is critically low. Press the minus or plus key to adjust this value. This value should not be less than 10 volts. Press back. Press exit. Select next to get to nightlight. The nightlight function illuminates a user-provided low wattage light when the PV voltage falls below a user-determined voltage. Press mode to change the output from off to on to auto. Select set. Select hysteresis. Press the minus or plus key to change the minutes that the PV input voltage needs to be below the threshold voltage before the nightlight is enabled. Press off. Off hysteresis is how long the PV input voltage needs to be above the threshold voltage before the nightlight is disabled. Press the minus or plus key to change this setting. Press back. And back again. Select time. This is the time the nightlight remains on. If you set this to zero, the nightlight will remain on until the off condition is met. Press the minus or plus key to change this setting. Select back. Select Volt. This is the threshold voltage the PV input must be less than in order to turn the nightlight on, and must be over in order to turn the nightlight off. Press the minus or plus key to change this value. Press back. And press exit. 
Select Next to get to Float. The Float function turns on the auxiliary port and thus powers a light or a small load when the charge controller is in float. Press Mode to change the output from Off to On to Auto. Select Next to get to Diversion Relay. If you are using a solid state relay, press down and continue to follow these directions. Diversion is the process of diverting excess DC power from the batteries to a DC load, such as a heating element or water pump. When the batteries get too high, the auxiliary port will energize a relay and power this load. You will want to make sure you've properly wired a diversion load. Check out our diversion wiring video or your manual. This is primarily an off-grid function. Press mode to change the output from off to on to auto. Select set. Next select time. The hold time shows how long the aux mode stays active after the battery voltage has fallen below the hysteresis set point. Press the minus or plus key to adjust this time. The delay time shows how long the battery voltage must be above the relative volts before the auxiliary mode is activated. Press the delay plus to adjust this. Press back. Select Bolt. Press the minus or plus key to adjust your relative volts. This voltage is relative to your absorb, float, and EQ voltages. Press hysteresis to set when the aux mode becomes inactive after the battery voltage falls below the relative volt set point minus the hysteresis value. Press back. Press exit. Select next twice to get to low battery disconnect. Low battery disconnect disconnects any loads that are connected to the auxiliary port in the event the battery voltage gets too low. Press mode to change the output from off to on to auto. Select set. Select time. This is the time period the charge controller waits before either activating or deactivating the auxiliary mode when either the disconnect or reconnect voltages are reached. Press the minus or plus key to adjust this delay. When the low voltage occurs, the timer shows the seconds remaining before disconnecting. When the reconnect voltage is reached, the timer shows the time before connecting. Press back. Select bolt. Press the minus or plus key to set the disconnect voltage. Select recon. Press the minus or plus key to set the reconnect voltage. Press back. Press exit. Select next to go to remote. In remote mode, this allows the mate to determine when the charge controller's auxiliary port is energized. Press mode to change the output from off to on to auto. Select exit twice to return to the main menu.